Hello everyone, I'm Fozzie, or Cam, and I'm not here with Will, but I'm here with Cole, who's been on the podcast before. How you doing, Cole? Pretty good. How are you doing, Cam? I'm doing good. Uh, welcome to the Everything Podcast. Today we have a variety of topics uh, to talk about, uh, such as our Super Bowl halftime show. Who might appear at that halftime show? Uh, we can talk uh, Knock at the Cabin, which I had talked a little bit about, gave a little review um, last episode, but uh, since Cole also saw it, we get to go in-depth. Um... We have to talk about our hype for the film Cocaine Bear, which is coming out later this year, later this month. Um, we're going to make some theories for Scream 6. And uh, Cole has a really uh, cool quantum mania theory that he'd also like to share. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's start with Knock at the Cabin, Cole. Um, I, I thought this was a brilliant movie. Uh, you gave it a 9 out of 10 out of the theater, right? Has your opinion changed at all? Um... I sat with it a little more, and not much changed. I, I I still love the movie, but um, I I went down like, I went down one. I think it's like an eight out of ten. Uh, my our friend uh pointed out some flaws with the logic behind the four horsemen thing, and yeah, it kind of just didn't really make as much sense. But I still think it was brilliant. Yeah, M Night Shyamalan's also a respected director. He's made some lesser le- less good movies but he directed six cents he directed signs which are both generally well liked um but he came out with a movie last year old which was old. hated by by a lot of people um and i, I think it, this was the fine. redemption he needed he needed yeah. this and i i agree with a lot of people on the internet who are saying this film is just beautifully shot it's 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 beautiful all the shots in the woods are awesome um Dave Batista definitely gave his best He's performance of a lifetime. He's the best wrestler turned actor, in my opinion. I... Yeah, I mean, you you can make an argument for The Rock because he's in so many big movies, but he's not great because he only has like one emotion, and that's yeah. that's the, the little and, eyebrow thing. Yeah, um, Dave Batista, he really shows like emotion in this movie. He he's like on like the brink of breaking because he has to have a family member murder another person they love. So yeah. you can see the emotion and it's a very well acted movie. Yeah, I totally um, agree. Rupert, Grant, I didn't, um, from as most of you know, from the Harry Potter movies, I honestly have never seen him in anything else. Other than but he's, Harry Potter. he's a good actor. He's he he good was actor. really good in this movie. He wasn't in it mm-hmm. for really long. Um, but for the time that he was in it, I, I really enjoyed his uh, character. I thought he had, some complex uh, emotions and that actually kind of re- were relatable. Yeah, a he's a, most of this cast I didn't know. I didn't know like the two main characters. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't know any. Jonathan Groff. Yeah, I because um, one of them's in Hamilton. Yeah, he's I, in Hamilton. I I think he's King. He's King James, right? King I George. Yeah. King um, George. Um, um. Yeah. So I thought this movie was awesome. I think I had it at a. Eight out of ten. And I'm sticking with that. It was, it was really good. Not as, not as many twists and turns as you'd come to expect from an M Night Shyamalan movie. But then, but like, it didn't. Doesn't matter. I still enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, next, I'd like to talk about uh, our excitement for the film Cocaine Bear. We yeah. St- we started off seeing that movie. We we saw like some ads for it. Not even ads. Some annou- like an announcement for it. And we thought it was gonna. I I I at least thought it was gonna be some direct to video movie that, I mean, we'd have a fun time watching. But I thought it, be it was gonna be special. ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> but upon seeing the trailer and upon seeing that it's gonna be a wide release film, um, that looks like it has a really high budget, um, and it's Ray Liotta's last film. The trailers look really good. It looks funny. It looks gory. Um, both two things I want. Um, from that type of movie, and it'll obviously obviously be nice to see um, Ray Liotta as he passed away uh, last year. Yeah, I just want this to be. I don't really care if it's gonna be like horribly written, as long as it's like fun, entertaining. Yeah, that's all I'm looking the, the, for. That's all I'm looking for in a movie called Cocaine Bear. Yeah. And yeah, apparently Ray Liotta had like a lot of fun shooting this before, like like the few days before he passed. Oh, so. nice. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, and um, yeah, it's it, it's gonna be good to see his last performance. Uh, now, um, we're kind of going through this fast, but uh, scream six, scream, uh, scream six theories. Cole, I'll let you go first because 
you have a few theories that I actually agree I with. Uh, I've been focusing on one one theory and one only and I don't even care it how flawed the logic could be I feel like there's enough there's enough speculation and enough to maybe prove that Stu Mocker could be one of the killers in this movie. Totally. Because Wes... Wes um, Craven confirmed Anderson, he's alive. Yeah, and, and Stu, Mo uh, Stu Mocker himself and Matthew Lillard did too. Oh, yeah, he, um, so... He, he said he'd love to return to play him in Scream 6. And um, he was supposed to come back for Scream 3, so... Yeah, that, that that's exciting to hear. Um, obviously, Stu is my favorite character in the Scream franchise, aside from Dewey, who unfortunately yeah. met his demise last movie. Um, but yeah, his character was crazy. It was so fun to watch in the original Scream movie. And um, I, I really hope he comes back, because Matthew Lillard is a good actor. Um, and I'm just praying to God, Gail doesn't die. If I know. Gail dies, it's going to be... It's not looking good for her, and it is also unfortunate uh -huh. that we won't have Sidney Prescott in this movie, because uh, the people at, who are working on Scream 6 won't wouldn't pay her enough, which is ridiculous. She's yeah. she she is, she is the, the scream, heart of Yes, she is scream. the Scream she's franchise. Scream. And um I, I just feel like they should have paid her more because she, it's she, worth it. It's her it's her it's her franchise, you know? She started but, it all, so But it, it I'd is really nice like to, know to talk that about she's... um the posters. Have Oh yeah. I haven't seen a bad Scream six poster yet. Like I know. even the floating head poster looks good. Fine, yeah. Um, I, I agree with you. Um, good posters, unlike... Uh, the Guess Who one. That one's... Yeah. Um, but I also want to talk about the trailer that came out, the full trailer, where um, Ghostface uh, teleported, kind of. Uh, they shot the shotgun at him, and he just, like... I, I don't know if that's, like, magic or something, or maybe it was just he was quick. I don't Different. know. Different. Maybe different ghost face could could have been too. Yeah, and... I don't know. They they're probably doing some tricky with the editing in the trailer. Yeah. Um, Throw so us off a bit. I'm sure it'll be explained in um, the movie. Maybe it's yeah. a dream sequence. Who a lot knows? of people, a lot of people complaining about the shotgun and how it's like unethical for but the ghost face to be using. It's not like he's just using the shotgun. We saw other yeah. clips in the trailers and he doesn't use it. He's only using yeah, it in that convenience store. It's not like any ghost. And Ghostface has not used a gun before. Every single one of them has. At the end of the movie, yeah. Used a gun, so. Yeah, and it's stupid. It'll just all, all, all the gun will do will give him ways to have more creative kills. So. Yeah. Um. I, I don't the cast looking him. great as yep. always. Um. Jenna, Jenna Ortega, Ortega yeah. gonna um, kill it. Yep. The the Ghostface costumes, the the old oh, one yeah, looks the amazing. Museum. Yeah. Um, so. the, the Ghostface Museum looks really interesting. I wonder what's going to happen there. Hmm. And I th think we're going to get a few major character deaths, um, which will be unfortunate. And I I do think, unfortunately, um, Gail Weathers is going to die because we, we saw... I mean, Ghostface Same thing happened to Dewey last. Yeah. yeah. Same, Dewey was in like a super like huge fight in the trailer. Yeah. And Gail's it's happening to Gail now, so it's it's Gail's too bad because Gail's always been a good character. The only reason I could see them not killing her off is because she had a really close call with getting killed in the fourth stream movie where she was in the hospital for most of it. Or to they they could be using this to throw us off because they did like I just said, they they did the exact same thing to Dewey in the last trailer. Yeah. So they could yeah, be trying that, to throw us true. off on yeah. Gail's death. Yeah, so that I Fingers crossed. I hope someone else dies instead of Gale. Because um, she's obviously another franchise legend. Um, we already lost Dewey. We've lost enough. And um, we've technically lost Sydney. Yeah, but who knows? If they do a Scream 7, they might bring her back for that. That would be nice. Yeah. Or who, who knows? This could be the last uh, Scream movie for a while. I don't think it will be. They they just, like, they just, re they have, like, a whole new, like, cast. Yeah, that's with, true. With, like, Jenna Ortiz, the rest of the... Uh, it's going to be, like, another, I want to say, two movies, at least. Yeah, I'm hoping. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I'm expecting good things from this movie. I really liked Scream 5. I thought it was really entertaining, and I thought the mystery was great at the end. Uh, the reveal was awesome. The kills were great. Um, and I've said it before on this podcast that 
death makes movies better. So Dewey's death made the movie better for me. It made me feel more emotion. I was feeling that emotion for days after I watched that movie. No, I was pissed. It was yeah, I mean, he's, he 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 is he he's the fan favorite character. Everyone loves Dewey Riley. If you ask anyone who's your favorite character in the Scream franchise, it's probably they will be Dewey. probably say Dewey Riley. Or um, Stu. But... Yeah, or Stu. Um, but yeah, it's too bad they had to kill him off. But it made the movie better. So yeah. hopefully they do something. If they ca- kill Gail Weathers, um, everyone's gonna be then pissed. It, it, they'll be mad, but it'll make the movie more emotional for me, which yeah. I'll appreciate. As sad as I'll be, uh, emotion is the most important thing in a movie. I feel totally. If it yeah. doesn't have emotion, it can't succeed. Yeah. Now I'd like to take a moment to talk about Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Cole, you have a really good theory, which I've waited. Well, you say it's a really good theory. Uh, I waited for you to tell me on the podcast, so, uh, cool. Let's hear it. Um, it, it's not, like, the best, I'd say, but I think it could be, I think it could be possible. Um, I saw a video where it was talking about, so, in the new clip of, like, King talking to Scott, Scott says he calls the Avengers, Mm -hmm. and in Shang-Chi, the rings are getting, like, a beacon, and when they zoom in on the beacon it's like like a yellow light and if you look in one of the trailers scott is standing in front of like ring circling a yellow light kind of so do you think shang chi is gonna be in the movie i think shang chi could be connected to the movie because i think his rings could be the beacon so the rings might make an appearance but maybe not just shang chi that'd be fine i don't that's fine uh but imagine we get a a shang chi cameo in the movie that would be really cool they did say something was in the movie that was not revealed at all. No leaks, okay, no nothing. So, I could be possible. I'm happy about that. So, yeah, and obviously we had the world premiere the other day. Uh, so oh, I, I've already skimmed over the reviews, but the world premiere reviews are like usually always positive. I yeah, I haven't seen them yet. Um, but um, the ones I saw said it was exciting. It was epic. I saw one review. Um. Uh, apparently, Kang is great. Uh, we both saw that. Um, the ones I did see, they said Modoc was done so dirty, which well, kind of disappointed me. I'm sure we just me. played for comedic relief. Yeah, uh, which... no, I, I was really hoping they would do Modoc at least a little right, but I don't. Seeing him in the trailers and now seeing all the reviews about him, I don't think it's like even possible to think. Well, they completely changed his down. his arc from the comics. I mean, yeah, he, he's um he's played by. The, the same, actor of this, yeah, um, it's, it's Yellow Jacket from yeah, the of Yellow original Jacket. Ant-Man. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really get it, and he's supposed to be one of the smartest minds in the Marvel universe. So it's kind of disappointing to see him. Well, we'll just have that. to see how it plays out, you know. But Kang, oh my God, apparently Jonathan Majors, the year of Jonathan Majors, Creed, Creed three, three, and Ant Man. I mean, and uh, they're probably gonna be two of the best Loki movies of the year. I'm really hoping. Marvel does not screw up this movie. Yeah. And I heard there wasn't a lot of hope in it, which I could give or take with hope. I'd she's, as long as she's it finishes, she is the she's in the title of the movie. How is there not that's see that's dumb. That's, I think that's, sometimes that, they forget normal. like it's Anne the Wasp when the like they <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot it was I thought it was just Ant Man Quantum Mania because Yeah. As long yeah. as they finish Ant um Scott on a good note and don't make him just I think left I think right. he's gonna die personally. I I do too, but if he goes out on a good good note where he's like, this is like a serious movie for him. I'm like sure the there will be comedic facing. moments, obviously. Yeah, that, like he, even in the clip, he 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 goes, he he says, um, King was talking about Thor. He goes, yeah, I see how you'd get it mistaken. We have like similar body types, and <laughs> obviously that was a joke. And but I don't think there's gonna be too many because it's yeah, it's way I don't because like movie. look at. At least Ant Man and the Wasp. That was like one of the more light Marvel movies. It wasn't. Both both of them have been like super comedic. Yeah, but I, I, but by the trailer, it, I it, saw it people. Um, I saw people making predictions that this was going to be similar to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, in its way of humor and yeah. seriousness, which is fine. It, I, that balanced it out like. Yeah. Great. Um, um, and it looks like it's having similar visuals to. Uh, Guardians Volume Volume Two. 
And um, then, um... So, yeah, that'll be cool. And, yeah, the visuals look great. Oh, my... The whole quantum realm. Yeah. I I really hope... I, I really hope it's not just Kang who's... I'm, I'm not going to complain mm-hmm. if I get more Kang than I come in asking for, because he, he's Kang. Yeah, he's really cool. But I want... I want Ant-Man done right. Yep. And I want um Cassie done right. And... Hope, yeah. I hope they just don't sideline Hope for the whole movie, because... If they, if they sideline Hope, like, fully, that's not gonna be good, but I wouldn't care if he was not spotlighted. Yeah. Like, like the other two. And actually, she, other three. I, Cassie's I, gotta have a good spotlight. She's you know? she's a good character, but she just... I, I, this might just be a me thing. I think Cassie and Scott's relationship is more interesting to me than Hope and Scott. Yeah, we no, kinda, but we that's going to be all. like a real plot point of this movie. How, yeah, like, obviously. Lost that time with his daughter. Yeah, well, that's I don't, I don't that, think, that is I don't the think big plot point. I don't think that's the time Kang is talking about. Because Kang talks about how he, he, he kind of just blurs the Avengers together because he's killed so many. Oh, yeah. And, but he knew Scott Lang's name. I think he's talking about the time he's losing right now as, as he's in the quantum realm. Oh, okay. The time moves faster, or with however it works, it's it's going faster in um, the real world. So well, I, the thing is, if somehow Kang dies in this movie, it doesn't matter. There are infinite yeah. versions of him, and he said it in I, Loki. Yeah, I'm. There's gonna be like a council of kings and Kang Dynasty. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that and would be awesome. I've I've seen like a few things about how th- this leads directly into the Kang Dynasty. Oh, okay. And um, uh, the rest well, is just going to be, like, fill in. Is Kang going to be in Loki? Um, Loki season two, there's got to yeah. be, like, some Kangs. There, there has to. There's got to be. Because the end there's of no other season point one, yeah. to the show. And, yeah, um, that'll be cool. I don't know how the Kang dynasty is going to end, because it can't end with um, He Who Remains coming back, because there, there would be no consequences. Yeah. I don't think the writers would do that. We'll I see. think. Imagine he just destroys the entire MCU and wins. That's not gonna happen because <laughs> of this secret. Actually, Secret Wars is about encouraging. Oh yeah, so that very yeah. much could be. Um, that'd be cool. That'd be crazy. So, and then Guardians. D- Disney is just decides out. to stop making money and ends yeah. the entire MCU. Well, that would be like the worst decision they've ever made. Yeah. Ever. But then well, we we'll have um, to wait like two years now. So. Yeah. And then at least we got like like. Guardians, yeah. um, Daredevil, Born Again. Yep. We got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, Fantastic Four is one of my most anticipated Marvel projects. Yeah, hopefully projects. we get some Doctor Doom. Uh, I'm praying for Doom. Yeah, and, and I think be... he'll be a part of Secret Wars as well. I don't think they're going with that storyline because there's two Secret Wars. There's one... I don't remember what the first one's about, but the second one's Reed and Doctor Doom's relationship. I don't think they'll have enough time to build up Doom yeah, that's and true, Reed's relationship. Yeah, because they both... Within yeah, the MCU right. in time. Yeah. But Doom... Doom and Reed relationship, it's gotta be... It's gotta... It's gotta happen well. It's gotta... If it's not done right, Fantastic Four is not gonna be good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. And Fantastic Four, I'm also excited for. Have, yeah. we, got, have, we, have we gotten the uh, official casting for the Fantastic Four? No. No? no. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I was really hoping for John Krasinski as our... Um, Reed Richards, but looks like we're not going to get that now. I mean, at least we got him in uh, Multiverse of Madness. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll just have to yeah. see who plays him. And then, um, yeah, I I can't wait for Guardians. That's going to be probably yeah. my favorite. I'm hoping it's my favorite Marvel movie. It's got to be I a good th- ending. I, I think I, I hope it's. I think it. I hope it's better than the first one, because if it is, it's perfect. I think Drax is almost confirmed to die because Dave Bautista Dave said... Dave Bautista's not coming back. Yeah. Uh, but which is they could unfortunate, do like, like, but it's good for Dave Bautista. Like we said, he's a great actor. Yeah. He needs to pursue other things. I hope they do him right in this in this movie because cause we've seen how Dave Bautista can act and knock at the cabin and he do, he can't he isn't just that comedic relief yeah. that he is in the MCU. And I think if they make Drac, Drax um, emotional in this movie... Gonna be, it's it's gonna be great. Rockets gonna die. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think he well. Obviously, we know he's gonna be a big. I think slot point. Will's probably gonna die, and I feel Adam Warlock 
might take the lead of the Guardians. Really? As Will Will Poulter, uh, they're in the um, comics. He's like the leader of the Guardians for a while. Okay. And I think that'd be I interesting. Yeah. He could, but yeah. Um, that'll be exciting. Um, I also want to see what they do with um, Gamora because obviously she's a whole different person. I want to see how it goes finding her. Uh, I also want to see more of Mantis and uh, Quill's relationship, which hasn't got crazy explored yet. Th th yeah. This movie's going to be about it, I feel. I feel like it's yeah. going to be heavy on the sibling relationship between the two. Yeah. Um. So now, after this awful segue... Pause, Time to pause, talk pause, about the Super Bowl pause, performance. Pause it, pause it, buddy. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties, but now we're all good. Now I'd like to talk about the Super Bowl halftime show. Rihanna, are you excited, Cole? I am. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I, I don't mind Rihanna, but she I feel like it's excited, not going to be. Like, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be as exciting as like last year. Well, last, last year's was, was epic. I mean, Dre, Snoop, Kendrick, Eminem, Kendrick. Uh, Mary J. Blige was had an yeah, awesome no, performance as well. Um, Fifty Cent. Yeah, Fifty Cent, the cameo, yeah. like, hanging from the ceiling. That um, was. Yeah, something. and they even had Anderson Pack playing the drums, which was yeah. random but cool. Um, so yeah, that, that that was a really good halftime show. I think this will live up because Rihanna's like a legend. She's a billionaire. Do you think? Do you think she's gonna um, perform? Lift me up, yeah. Um, yeah, lift me up. I think it would make sense because. I think that would be because it's a, like her... that would be an awesome tribute to Chad, Chadwick. Oh my god, dude! That, oh, that, that would be, be crazy, beautiful. I think that could be. Um, I'm trying to think of where that would go in the set list because she's not going to do it in the middle of her performance. No, she'd probably do it at the end. And you're, it's either the first song or the last song because she might not want to end on such a somber note. Um, especially at a football game, she yeah. might not want to make everyone cry before the big game starts for the next half starts yeah yeah and so then, she might start with that yeah, you said you wanted to see asap rocky in it um uh, yeah that'd be really cool um because obviously that's her husband and he has a really uh he hasn't come up with an album in a while so it'll be nice to see some stuff from him and i'm also a fan of him because he's a big he's a he's a good friend of uh of t t tyler the creator so we all love tyler here <laughs> we all love tyler and um is there yeah. anyone else confirmed for the halftime show? I'm trying to think. No, a ASAP's not even confirmed yet. I, that that's just a theory I have. It's just Rihanna right now. Yeah, um, which that's is actually fine. like good. Yeah. yeah, if even if it is only Rihanna, it's I'm sure she'll do fine. Like, yeah, think no, of, she's gonna do. Think of the Lady Gaga halftime show. It was just her. Yeah, she was awesome. Um, yeah, same with Katy Perry, Justin Timberlake. Uh, those were all well. Justin Timberlake was okay. But um, I think we all know the worst collaboration Super Bowl performance was Maroon Five, Travis and, Scott, yeah. and Big Boy. Big Boy, the one million monthly listeners on Spotify. That's... I show, I think I show speed has more listeners than Big Boy, who did the half man <laughs> show. That's some. But um, now we got to talk about the real business. Who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? If I'm being honest. I think I've already said it on the podcast. I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Because I am going to have to go with the Eagles because I despise the Mahomes family. Y yes, I. They're they're annoying. That's but that's that's not what I'm here for. I I think it's really entertaining watching Patrick Mahomes play, and I just want to see more of that. And I think he's the future of the NFL, obviously. And uh, the Eagles beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl, so. I I I haven't been watching this season of like I, I didn't watch most of the season. I didn't even watch the playoff games, which I usually do. And um, that, no hearing big that deal. The, there are a lot of people who just watched the Super Bowl. Bowl. You know, hearing that the Eagles were in it, I was I was like, is this gonna be a good Super Bowl? But I'm I feel excited. like no, and I've seen them do it before to my own team. I've seen them like upset the best team in the league. Yeah. And um. Uh, to see him do it again, I think that would be, like, like in the span of like four years too. Yeah, that'd be some. Yeah, so I think we're all excited for the Super Bowl halftime show. And uh, honestly, I don't and care the game. who wins. I don't care who wins because um, my neither of 
are like my favorite teams. <laughs> I might have to play some bets so I can uh, so I can do some yeah. get That's some what higher I stakes do. going. <laughs> yeah. make, make it even more exciting. Uh, yeah, I gotta place some money on this so I can actually care about the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Now we have one more thing, which I just remembered we have to talk about: the DC announcements. So yep. I want I want to go over the things that are already announced. Uh, that I'm not reading the not gonna read the release dates of them, but we have the already announced uh, DC projects. We have Shazam: Fury of the Gods. My excitement no. is 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 every trailer I going see, down by down. the second. It, it, yeah, it I'm going to good. watch it. I don't think I'm gonna laugh once. I don't think I'm gonna smile. I don't think I'm gonna if, go. Yeah, if I could I, watch Morbius, I can sit through this. Yeah, but Morbius was Morbius was entertaining because it was so bad. This doesn't look good. This I doesn't think, look even like entertaining. It just yeah. looks kind of bad. And then we get the Flash, which um comes I, in June. I don't, I, I, I don't know how to feel about it. Ezra is an awful human being. We know that. And his suit is horrible. The, yeah. Like the, have you seen the helmet? It's yeah, but I'm not. I'm gonna try to brush that away and just appreciate how they just because they this is the big reset. They're resetting everything in this movie, so I, I want to see what they do. Yeah, then there's Aquaman, right? Is no, Blue one? Blue Beetle comes after uh, That's the Flash. Gonna be good. That's yeah, gonna be which good. I think is straight to HBO Max, and um, that has Miguel from Cobra Kai, which I'm Z- Zolo's to see. good. Zolo's good. I like him. And then we have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Excited. Um, but I don't know. Did did they um? Did they keep Mira in the movie, or did they? Um, I think she just has really reduced screen time, which makes sense. Um, then Peacemaker season two, the hype, the hype continues to go up for that for me. I can't wait. That, I, I loved the first season. It was yeah. like my favorite thing. And then, uh, Joker two, fo- Joker Fole Ada, uh, I, not even gonna try to pronounce. Oh, Fole Ada. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Joker don't know. two, uh, we'll just call it that. And then we have the Batman two, and then we have a few CW shows, uh, Gotham Knights. I'm not Men watching. I'm not watching anyway. Gotham care. Knights. Yeah. Yeah. It, same with Superman and Lois. I have no interest in watching that. Yeah. Um, and and then, uh, now I'd like to go over the new announcements here. Um, James Gunn. And Mr. James Gunn. The chapter has probably the hardest name I've ever heard. Gods and Monsters. <laughs> it's a name. So let's, let's go over our uh, movies that have been announced. So I want to give some background knowledge for those who don't know. There's going to be three different universes. There's going to be the main one, the DCEU, which is going to be run by James Gunn, um, which will have all the main main story movies, and then there will be Todd, Todd Phillips' uh, Joker universe, which will be its own thing, and then and there will Matt be Reeves, uh, the, Batman. the Matt Reeves Batman franchise, which, knock, no complaints there. Perfect. Uh, I hope they don't like touch like Superman or something in that yeah. universe, because cause it's got to stay Batman. Yeah. And Matt Reeves, we have uh, the Penguin TV show. We have the Batman Two coming out in a year. I always forget. I always forget the Penguin, I Penguin believe... and um, Arkham Asylum TV series. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and then, but I I'm kind of sad. I gotta wait. We gotta wait so long for, um, Batman. the Batman Two. But it, it's if, fine. The, if it takes so it, long it's gonna to be make a, a good masterpiece, movie. yeah. If it takes this long to make a masterpiece, I'm willing to wait. Yeah. I, I really I love that was my favorite comic book movie of the year, so I'm excited for the one episode. of my favorite movies of the year. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. And um, some of the newly announced uh, main DCEU, which was the this these were the biggest announcements here. Um, Superman Legacy, which has already been written by Gunn, James Gunn. I don't um, I don't get how they're gonna do this. It's it's like a is it is it a story of Superman or is it a story of Clark Kent? Because I've heard it's a story of Clark. Kent. I. It it's it's about his human upbringing, which I don't, yeah. I, don't I don't know what that means. Uh, it, so, I have faith in James Gunn, but I I, totally, um, yeah. I I have clueless on what that movie's gonna be about. But that that'll be here before you know it. You know, I feel like it's gonna come here soon. Twenty twenty five, July eleventh. Excited. Um, yeah. the Authority, which I know nothing about. What no, what no what is that? Uh, the Wildstorm characters will join the DCU as members of the Authority take matters into the into their own hands to do what they believe is right. Sounds like a kind of Suicide Squad thing. Uh, he's he's done this with the Guardians. We'll just let him do his work. Yeah, I'm not. No one knew the Guardians before 2014. Yeah, 
uh, the Brave and the Bold, which is um, the, DC. the Batman movie. Yeah, and it's the, Batman. the first, the first sense, the horrendous Batman and Robin. Yeah, and uh, but it's not. Uh, uh, this Robin is. Bruce's it's not Dick Grayson. Son. It's Damian Wayne. Yep. Um, and then we have Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, which seems to be like a sci-fi action movie. Exciting, as long as it's better than the Supergirl CW show. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Booster Gold. Oh, yeah, right? that that's a show, I believe. Booster Gold's going to be good. That's a show, yeah. We're not done with the movies yet, though. We have a Swamp uh, Thing, uh, which... Wait, is... that's a movie? I thought that was a TV series. No, that's a movie. Oh, I'm going um, to go see that one. Um, it's going to be a horror movie, actually. I love Swamp's the Swamp Thing. He's he's yeah. a, he's a good character. I think this he's, is gonna be interesting, especially because it's a horror movie. That's that's just exciting enough to get me. Yeah. On. So now we have the DC TV series uh, Creature Commandos, which is animated, and it's about Amanda Waller, and uh, um, she creates a Black Ops team, and that's and then, um, Gunn has already wrote written all the episodes, and it's, and in, the produ- actual... it's in production now. The actual Amanda Waller show, Waller. Oh no, uh, we have Booster Gold after that, which I'll read. I'll read you the description here. Booster Gold uses basic technology from the future to pretend to be a superhero in present day. I think that'll be a funny show. Um, it doesn't yeah, Booster say Gold's James, a good character. I, doesn't say I, James Gunn's writing it. Um, but he's also got to work on like seven hundred projects right now. Yeah, along with like Suicide Squad two, like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, it makes sense that he has to do all this. Uh, yes, um, the Waller show, which will feature some of the cast of uh, Peacemaker. Awesome. I don't. I don't I, think I'm I feel too like... excited for that one. Like, I don't think. Well, Waller's she's a character that we don't know oh, crazy she's about. She's a about. good character. Like, like yeah. Least, From what her actor seen. does great thing, great job. But I, I don't know if I'm too excited to see a whole show about her. Totally. Yeah. She's good I, I, in like. I see what you're saying. Suicide Squad, she was good in, but I don't see like a whole show based around her. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, that is about all we have to cover for this episode of the Everything Podcast. Um, we went through a lot of things today. Uh, Cole, thank you for joining me. Um, um, Will will be your next episode for sure. Sorry, this episode was a little later than usual. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening or watching or whatever you're doing, and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.